Hello everyone. Welcome to my online class. I am Ibn Rakibul Hassan, Senior Lecturer, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, IUPAT. So, in today's class, we are going to discuss about basic data storage. According to your textbook, this one is chapter number 7. Uh, so, let's start our today's discussion. So, at first, this is the chapter outcome. So, here you will get an uh, idea what topics we are going to discuss inside the chapter. So, basically, we are going to discuss about uh, what is database, what is uh, relational database, what is relational database management system, in short, DBMS, or what are the topics, what are the terms and conditions we have regarding this database we are going to discuss about them that means you are going to get a very basic idea about the database inside the chapter so uh, in the introduction part at first I am going to discuss about what is data I am starting from the very basic what is data data is the raw fact it will not give you any meaning when we manipulate data we get information for an example in your class you have suppose in total 50 student if I collect all of your data like uh, I can collect your age okay after manipulating this data I might get some information like what is the average age of the class what is who is the youngest one who is the eldest one so this type of information I might get after manipulating data so the thing is that data is the raw fact and it will not give you any meaning to you now come to the point what is database database here here you will get the short definition in the first point okay so database is the uh, you can say organized collection of data here database is the organized collection of data okay so it is the collection of schemas table queries reports view and other objects so these terms might be new to you so i'm going to discuss about them one by one so at first uh, they mention it is the collection of schema what is basically schema a schema means model or the structure so the database schema of a database is its structure described in a formal language supported by the database management system so simply we can say that schema means the model of the database okay uh, like uh, we, we can use uh, entity relationship model okay so this is the model okay this is a conceptual thing this is it is not the actual database it's a concept okay so second one the table okay uh, table is the basic unit of storage and it composed rows rows and columns that means inside the table you will get number of row and number of column okay and inside the table we can store data inside the table we have number of cell and we can store some data inside the database table okay then we have query uh, a database query is a i mean you can say the request for data from a database okay so when uh, we want to manipulate some data or when we want to get some data or we want to get some information from the database we run query okay query means you can say kind of we are asking uh, request to the database okay suppose i would like to uh, select all the information about a specific student okay in this way i can ask the i can send the request to my database this is called database query okay then they mention about the report okay report is the formatted result of a database query okay the structured result okay after you run the query you will get some report okay and then mention about the views okay views means it might be the virtual table okay it is not actually report it is a collection of table subset of table okay it's a virtual table simply you can say okay and other objectives we have like uh, sequence index and etc okay these are the things we have inside the database okay. that's why they're telling it is the collection of schemes tables queries report views and other offsets okay now come to the next point uh, 
this is the formal definition the uh, third point is basically what the formal definition of database database is a well arranged and self defining collection of data that is used to preserve data and metadata and maintain data stability and integrity so here again some point might be I mean, new to you database is a well arranged and self defining collection of data that is used to preserve data and metadata okay it can preserve data no problem but what is metadata metadata means data about data so for an example that means uh, if i explain it more that that is data that provides information about other data for an example think about emails emails uh, it might be one data okay and think about uh, image size okay image color image resolution okay these are the metadata mm. because these data basically describing the image and image itself are data okay so in this case these are the data okay metadata and it will maintain the stability okay it will maintain data stability okay consistency and as well as it will it maintain data integrity the and that means the purity of data okay data integrity means you can say the maintenance of and the assurance of the accuracy and consistency this is called data integrity so this is the formal definition uh, you should uh, remember database is a well arranged and self-defining collection of data that is used to preserve data and metadata and maintain data stability and integrity okay so come to the next point what is a uh, database functionality what are the database functionalities we have okay uh, that means you can say the characteristics the basic characteristics of the database so the first point you should uh, remember about a database uh, data store management it will give you facility to data store management there are number of tools number of softwares okay through which we can maintain our data in a structured way inside the database we can manage our data uh, or we can store our data in a structured way in the database second point data transformation and presentation transformation means uh, we can change the data from one format to another format and we can present them in a proper way better way okay if you have database okay then uh, database will provide you the security okay no one will be able to uh, do any authorized access okay so it will it will uh, ensure the data security then the fourth point is multi-user access control i mean number of people can access or they can collaborate inside the same database inside a single database okay suppose think about iv to automation system in the automation system uh, we have number of stakeholder like as a student you can access as a teacher i can access okay uh, there are some admin admin person they can also access their panel okay all of us accessing the same database okay that means multi-user and uh, you see as a student you cannot access my panel or as a teacher i can i cannot access your panel okay we have some boundary here isn't it then backup and recovery okay the data backup refers to the process of backing up data in case of loss or setting up system that allow that data recovery due to data loss suppose uh, if you uh, if you lost your data okay if you have data backup policy previously then you can back up your data you can recover your data okay right then data integrity again it will ensure the uh, the purity the accuracy and the uh, consistency of your data inside the database okay data access language so database access language so we have num i mean different types of language through which we can access the database we have uh, you can say data definition language okay data manipulation language okay we have different types of language through which we can manipulate the database and data communication interface database is a software so definitely we need user interface to communicate with the database okay so it will provide you a user interface like uh, in this software okay which software you are using you have a inter in interface so same here here we have okay so okay so this, this is the database functionalities 